Right now I'm gonna issue uh, two citations for cruelty to animals. Um, the citations are gonna be based on uh, failure to provide necessary sustenance for the, uh, the mother that we have here and also the puppy that was picked up yesterday. If I could find the other puppies, depending on their condition, they may receive uh, additional citations. Do they know they're getting tickets? No. Oh so don't say nothing. Pleasant surprise. How many tickets are we citing? Two. Nice. Um, Small price to pay. I don't think there's any excuse for, for people neglecting their animals. Um, I think it goes along with, uh, you know, neglecting your child. So uh, if they get caught, they get what they deserve. These tickets are for cruelty to animals, <laughs> failure to provide necessary sustenance, all right? Mm -hmm. Obviously the puppy, by the time I got it back to the clinic, he died, okay? So you're, you're actually lucky you're not getting arrested. All right, there's citations. It's $515 for each fine. If this isn't paid, they lien the property. The way I look at it is if you, if you wouldn't want to live a certain way, you know, don't expect that the dog's going to want to live that way or, or your cat's going to want to live that way or any animal's going to want to live that way. You know, if it's something that you wouldn't feel comfortable living in, don't make your animals live like that. We're going to check in, uh, one more time to see if uh, maybe we can find those other puppies. Oh, I don't see the other two. We're gonna have to go ahead and go in. You know, the sooner we get there, the better. Before they leave the area, the investigators decide to take a drive around the neighborhood to see if they can find the two other puppies. Hey, look, whoa, 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 whoa. It's not long before they spot something. Is that a puppy? There's two. It might be them. They are puppies. Is that what they look like? I don't know, maybe. Those are puppies. The other one's black and tan. That might, that might be one of them. I uh, gotcha. Hello. Hello. You don't want to be caught in that. Do you know whose puppies these are? While Boyette tries to find out if they belong to one of the homes nearby, that Diaz wants to see how Gucci reacts to them. Is this your mom? Is that your mommy? With over 30,000 dogs running loose on Miami streets, there's every chance they're not the ones they're looking for. Here's the dog at large problem that we're having with these two. And there's a lot more of them very easy to get hit by a car. They're very small, very playful. As you can see, they come with anybody. So if these dogs do belong to somebody, chances are if someone drives by, sees them, they'll take them. But I don't think so. Nah, she, I think she'd be reacting differently if they were hers. Just chill out for a second, guys. There we go. The, these two puppies here look to be in good health. Um, you know, they don't uh, look to have any kind of skin issues or anything like that. Um, and you, you look at her and her puppy that we found yesterday, and they're in this condition. Um, it, it's just something that could have been prevented and, and shouldn't have happened to, to begin with. We're gonna probably have to take a man with us. <laughs> we gotta get going, it's gonna rain. No, 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 you can't run out. Come on, get in. It's disappointing that the puppies aren't Gucci's, but at least they're now in safe hands. This is definitely not the uh, way you should transport puppies. But given the circumstances, I mean, the weather is gonna get ugly pretty soon, so uh, right now it's just, uh, they need to ride in the front seat with us and go back to animal services. Both of the pups are wearing collars and are in such good condition, the investigators are convinced they belong to a home in the area. They decide to make a final check and amazingly, their efforts pay off. Well, we were driving by and uh, we saw this, this open area here and the, the fence there was open and these dogs are obviously small enough to fit through the hole. So we went ahead and asked her if the dogs were hurt and it turns out they are. So hopefully they won't get out again. 